Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Imagine looking back in time to the universe's infancy, only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. What if you saw colossal objects billions of times the mass of our sun that shouldn't possibly exist yet? This isn't science fiction. It's one of astronomy's most profound mysteries, the impossible anomaly of early universe supermassive black holes. Observations from telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed incredibly luminous quasars to use powered by supermassive black holes that are astonishingly ancient. For instance, quasar J03131806, dating back to just 670 million years after the Big Bang, harbors a black hole 1.6 billion times the sun's mass. Another J0100 plus 2802 appeared only 875 million years after the Big Bang with an astounding 12 billion solar masses. This is a cosmic paradox. Standard models suggest black holes grow by slowly accreting matters and merging with others. However, to reach such gargantuan sizes so quickly, these black holes would have needed to grow at rates far exceeding the theoretical Eddington limit, which dictates how fast a black hole can feed. Theories propose direct collapse black holes from massive gas clouds or even primordial black holes formed directly after the Big Bang as potential seeds. Yet even these ideas struggle to fully explain the observed rapid growth, especially with recent discoveries of lonely quasars lacking dense galactic environments to fuel them. These cosmic giants are more than just a puzzle. They challenge our fundamental understanding of black hole and galaxy evolution. They force us to reconsider the conditions of the early universe and perhaps even the limits of physics itself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more interesting videos.